The 2010 BP oil spill was the single largest marine oil spill in U.S. history. At least 134 million gallons of crude were spilled at a rate of roughly 1.5 million gallons per day. It's been nearly five years since the start of the BP oil disaster, and the negative effects are still being felt. Uh, just two weeks ago, right, the day after BP released their report saying that everything was fine in the Gulf, we were out here and we saw a very, very different picture. Um, for one, there was a cleanup crew here on East Grand Terre Island cleaning up a tar mat that had been discovered, and it was fingerprinted and found to be BP oil. To this day, nearly 1,000 dolphins have been found dead or stranded since the start of the BP disaster. Dolphins in Barataria Bay, Louisiana, one of the most heavily oiled coastal areas, have suffered from poor health and high mortality rates. Since 2010, dolphins in the Gulf of Mexico have been experiencing an unusual mortality event. It's particularly concentrated here in Louisiana and particularly here in Barataria Bay, some of the areas that got the most oiling. Um, here in Louisiana and, and within Barataria Bay, dolphins have been dying at a rate four times higher than they had in the past. And it seems to coincide with the areas most heavily oiled. A number of studies to understand impacts on bottlenose dolphins have been conducted over the past five years. Collectively, the findings from these studies present a picture of chronic poor health, failed pregnancies, and increased mortality in the aftermath and footprint of the BP oil spill. Oil, particularly what's called the polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons, that's the most toxic portion of oil. And what that can do is cause lung problems within dolphins, it can cause reproductive problems, it can also cause adrenal problems within dolphins. So dolphins are, are a top level predator. And when you have a top level predator that is affected, what that's really telling you is that the environment itself is severely compromised. These are animals that consume other organisms, so that contamination kind of works its way up the food chain. So if your predators are being affected, that means all the lower life forms are being affected as well. According to the National Oceanographic and Atmospheric Administration, current evidence suggests that the Deepwater Horizon oil spill is a contributor to the largest and longest-lasting dolphin die-off on record in the Gulf of Mexico. The leading people have been NOAA, the National Oceanographic and Atmospheric Administration, and they are one of the NERDA trustees, the Natural Resource Damage Assessment, who are looking at some of the effects um, of the oil spill. And for a long time, they have been observing that the dolphins have been dying in record numbers, but why that's been happening has been really unclear. And they have explored some of the more um, typical causes of dolphin mortality, and it's really been unconclusive. And it, it's really uh, in the last probably about a year that they've really started to focus in on kind of come to the conclusion that oil really seems to be a, a pretty big contributing factor to these dolphin deaths. Despite what BP claims, Dolphins in Louisiana's Barataria Bay are suffering from symptoms consistent with exposure to oil, and the oil spill's effects are ongoing. Tar mats and tar balls are still washing ashore, and islands and marsh are still in need of repair and restoration. Five years later, BP needs to accept responsibility and make it right for the communities, environment, and wildlife of the Gulf Coast.